Hey everybody, welcome to North Cal Sports Network. Um, Clarence Beeks. Wow. Rothberg to the white courtesy phone, please. I like that. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. calling Robert Rothberg to the white courtesy phone. Yeah. All right. Uh, Well, I know a lot of guys want to let it rip and maybe we will. Um, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm a little subdued tonight. A um, little subdued, a little, little bit. Um, um, yeah, just, just, just a tough day all around. Uh, Buster's right down here by my side, but uh, faith is not. So faith is clinging to life tonight. So um, I'm a little bit, uh, my mind's a little bit there. Baseball. Gotcha. Not not too important right now, but faith is uh, on oxygen right now. And um, hopefully we'll make it through the night so can get some uh, care for her. Um, she's got a serious infection and her breathing's bad and her lungs, heart, everything's, I don't know what, we don't know what's going on. So, um, anyway, that's, uh, why we were a little bit late and, um, just, you know, stuff going on. So anyway, hopefully Faith will pull through. She's a tough little girl and uh hopefully she's only six and a half but uh we'll we'll see but uh get to the ball game here um the um um giants man they're pitiful man just bats are just bad it's bad yeah i mean you get you get two leadoff doubles in two separate innings and you can't even score them. You go 0 for 10 with runners in scoring position. Just Blake Snell. Well, I, I thought it was going to be, I think, what did I say? I said, I think I've said five, five or no, seven strikeouts and three walks. I think it was a little bit worse than that, but yeah, I mean, it's his first outing. So I'm not going to yeah. be too hey, hard. You have the, you have the, um, what's that umpire report thing? Do you have I don't that? know where the hell that is. You're talking about uh, Guccione? Yeah, I wasn't – I didn't think he was calling a bad game. I wanted to pull up his report card because um, I wanted to take a look at – see how many he actually missed because I got tired of hearing Crook and Kipe complain about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were. I thought they were balls. They were borderline. They were, they were borderline. Like they, were, they looked like it was tight, but they looked like they were just off the – I mean, and it looked like it was a consistent strike zone. It was so. consistent, Yes. He was tight uh, the whole way through. Correct. Yeah. And um, um, and that's kind of tough when you're. this is your first MLB game of the season and, you know, he didn't really have a spring. Yeah. yeah. His last inning, though, he came out and he dealt. So that was impressive. Yeah, it's going to it's going to going to take him uh, uh, a while. Um, but come on. The, 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 the key, though, really more than anything is the lineup. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, hopefully I, I I was just texting Glenn. Is Glenn with two ends or one end? Two. That's what I thought. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Yeah. I thought he had. What's up senior. You're on your way. I'm guessing you're on your way back, uh, back to the Casa from the game. Yeah. And uh, Hey, everybody with the, in the chat, uh, there's several of you. Thanks for your thoughts. I appreciate it. Really. Um, You know, if you, if you're a praying person, just, just pray that, you know, She'll make it. I don't want her to suffer. I don't want her, you know, to hold on to her just for selfish reasons. But correct, uh, correct. I understand I, that. I do want to see if she, I don't want to give up on her if it's if right. there's possibility. So, um. Anyway, yeah. Uh, what was Yaz tonight? O for three or O for four? O for four. O for four. One or two Ks. Two strikeouts. Two. That's right. One. Both swinging. I. I. I uh, like, 
Wait, was the first one swinging? First one might have been looking, but the second one was swinging. If I'm yeah, not I, yeah. I, I know I saw him strike out at least once, and I know he, uh, what he fly out to right in in the ninth. I was fly out to right in the ninth. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you know the Giants. I don't understand their, you know, mentality of they've given up on, you know, Ramos. And they gave up on, you know, they they don't let the, the young guys last as long, you know. I mean, and it's not like Yaz is just off to a bad start in twenty four. He, he had a bad twenty two and a bad twenty three, mm-hmm. and he kind of had a bad second half of twenty one. He really kind of tailed off there in the last couple of months. Um, uh, you know, I I just don't see this lineup. My concern is the lineup five through nine. Yeah, five through nine. Um, really, yeah. five through nine. Yeah, five through nine is. Um, if you got a good team, it's one or two, not freaking five. Five guys. Five guys. Yeah, I mean, this isn't the hamburger joint, uh, Giants. Five guys. You know, this is <laughs> this is this is five guys that are that uh, are in in uh, the five guys terms. Uh, these guys, five through nine, are overcooked. <laughs> they're, exactly, they're done. <laughs> um, they're a little bit crispy. Yeah, it, it's it's really is hard to watch and. That way it really was. It was, you know, the more, I mean, the watching Lee's at bats were kind of nice. Yeah. Everyone else at bats was kind of. Yeah. His first two bats, man, he went with the pitch. He went with the pitch. Uh, I like how he did that. And, and then he, his last one was he, a ground he, out. He hit this. I think it was the second one was hit hard or both were hit pretty hard. First two at bats. The first two at bats were hit pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah. And they were not on the ground. They got some. Yeah. They were on. liners. Yeah. They were yeah, bit liners. Of- so they got a little bit of a lift. Which is nice, perfect type of lift. But Just, his last uh, at bat was a classic, classic roll to right, roll, roll it over. Yeah. yeah, I'll say this about Lee. I think he's, you know, when he faces pitchers like Williams tonight that are more ninety uh, two ish at tops and they're off speeds in the mid eighties, that's what he's used to seeing. Right, and he's able to go with the pitch and turn on it when he needs to. And Ray, I'm with you. It's the Giants scored one run against the Nationals, and it wasn't who the hell's Trevor Williams, guys. And who was is? it a, was it an earned run or an unearned run? Because there was an error. There's an error. In. Ooh, good question. Let, let me look. Let me look and see if that was an. It may not even been an earned run. Uh, let's and then see. the Giants. That first inning was weird. Both teams throwing the ball all over the damn place. Yeah. Wilner um, almost threw, threw it in the freaking left field. The first – the Giants run was – it was earned. Okay. I, I Yeah. So, um, yeah, this team is just really hard to watch offensively. It and is. This, and this is like the – Third year in a row. Twenty one was a year where they were hitting the ball out of the park. Solano timely was hitting. Timely hitting. Solano was hitting. Buster was hitting. Bell Good was pitching. hitting. Crawford was hitting. Um, you know, you had some of the guy. Even the guys they'd bring up were hitting. It was just one of those magical years, and um, you know, um, it's just. It's- it's just really hard to uh, to watch, um, and this is the Nationals. Remember, they were. We even said that they were floundering. Remember, yeah, they, they had yeah. that one win against Philly yesterday. They flew cost country, and then they they get here and they freaking they put up eight runs against the Giants. Yeah, they flew, and they didn't have C.J. Abrams. Nope. Um, I don't know if Lane he's Thomas though, you know. Yeah, Lane his. Thomas, he's kind of hurt them last year. I remember what I said the other day. I said the Nationals uh really play well against the Giants at Oracle. And I kind of said I thought that 
they would go three and three on this homestand. And I do still believe that. I think the Giants only get one of these games of the remaining okay. two. Just just a gut because they, they're not hitting. The Nationals have been down. And when you get a team that all of a sudden, a young team that that wins, they start to feel good about themselves. And, I mean, the Giants, um, they're just really boring. I mean, I, I don't it know is. what else to say. I mean. And, and uh, Landon Roop today was. <laughs> yeah. Boy, what I mean, happened to him, man? Well, that's going to happen. You're never going to go through a season with a zero ERA, right? True. But, man, he, they were getting, they were hitting him hard. It wasn't uh, like just, you know. Two thirds of an inning, three hits, two runs. Well, it was a two run homer, right? Uh, um, I think it yeah, was. And then he hit that double. There was a double right after that. Yeah. Yeah, he gave up um, three hits. Yeah, he he just, you know, that's going to happen some some nights. Tang, he did okay until the ninth. Um, yeah, I know, Mark. Um, you know, um, uh, I don't know. Um, you know, Tang did pretty good, except for the ninth inning. Yeah, yeah. So I was just saying he did. I agree different. with you, Heroku. It really didn't matter because how many did the Giants put up? One. God, come on. The, the, what more the, do you have to see to give to pull yes? What more do you have to see? I mean, uh, for the Giants, whole, yes. For the, for the Giants, another three, four weeks. This is ridiculous. Okay, let's put this in perspective. Yes, it's spring training, but what did he do in spring training? He struck out a lot. And that has carried over into the regular season. There's something wrong. This has been happening since last year or two, though. It's yeah. just constant. I mean, we were calling. This isn't new because no, he's not. off to a bad start. We've been calling for this all True. off season. True. I mean, the fact that we didn't even want them to tender him a contract. Tender a con. Yeah, he's for eight million. Come on, that's he's not worth eight million. He should be making the league minimum, veteran minimum. He, if he got waived, I guarantee you he'd, he'd clear waivers and someone might pick him up for, you know, the league, the vet league minimum, which is about eight, nine, I don't know, seven to 900,000. The funny thing is, is yeah, should have been the one that's, that was DFA'd and JD put on the bench. Exactly. Right. Yeah. But come uh, on. And that's uh, another great, uh, great point, Heroku. No stolen bases yet. By the Giants. Um, none. Not uh, have they only attempted one? I don't, like, I don't even like. Uh, I think the only one I've seen attempted was um, um, what, what's the kid's name? Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, and, and, and he got thrown yeah. out. Yeah, I haven't seen any other attempts. Uh, exactly. Well, uh, what is it? Uh, Elstrada hasn't been getting on base, and he's usually your base dealer, so he can't. Right. If you're not on base, you can't steal. What is he like? One for. 27 uh, uh, something they like say that. he was it's one horrible. for 27 something like that 20 something it's it's what, pretty bad let me look what his batting average it's is really right bad now. his batting average estrada is 163 oh, i don't know what where you got when did he get 63 well yaz is 050 i know that's uh one for what is that one for 20 let's take a look at this let's see what i think that's one for 20 what is the bottom of the lineup? What is the let's look at the averages at the bottom here? Let's let's take a gander. And then you got Brandon or uh Patrick Bailey throwing another ball in the center field today. That you can't well, be doing that, man. Well, you can start the bottom of the order, you can start at the four hole. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. <laughs> Come on, man. Seriously. Solaire 225, Chapman 182. Oh, Yaz, 050. Estrada, 163. Bailey, 269 and declining. Um, and then Ahmed, 219. Bailey will be down. Bailey will, down more. Bailey will be down to into the below 240 uh, within a week, guys. So there's <laughs> probably Solaire, 230. Probably 230. Batting 225. Chapman, 182. Granted, I get it. It's 11 games, but man, come on. You want to see something? 50, 50, 163, and then there's 269 with Bailey. 
But today he looked bad. Three strikeouts. And then Ahmed, 219. Look at this. How are you going to get anything done here? Look at the OP. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. Oh. Glenn going for the fantasy league title in the first 10 days. <laughs> Glenn, it's a marathon, not a sprint, my friend. <laughs> he just picked up Luis Matos. I just saw that. I just saw that. He just picked up Matos. Oh, but he oh, may be. In, I think he might be in first place by the end of the night, right? I know uh, Vince is right on his heels. There we go. There we go. We got the radio voice guys. The big. The big. Uh, media oh guy. yeah, there we go. Right at the top. Yep. 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 And, but come uh, on, guys. I mean, yeah, it's 11 games, but geez, man, there's something there's something missing. You watch these games, and it's just, whew. you know, bats are usually the slow part. Pitchers are usually ahead of the hitters in early going. The weather's cold across the country, especially this year. It seems like a really more – I don't recall where games were really in colder weather and lots of rain. That's tough to hit in. Hitting will pick up when May comes around and weather starts warming up. Um, you know, there's going to be exceptions, of course. There's going to be some guys that are hot. That's just the way it goes. But, uh, I mean, I think batting averages are down like always, all, always all around. Um, if I looked at the uh, actual top batting averages right now, it's uh, Velope, Velope 417, at Kate Ar Ar Arcia 417, Ryan McMahon 415, Will Smith 400, uh, William Contreras 389, Quan of Cleveland 383. Bryce Terang, 379, Steer, 378, Mookie Betts, 375. But see, these these are so inflated because of their they got off to hot starts. Correct. And it's the same with the guys at the bottom. They're off to cold starts, so they have really bad averages. And so they tend to even out yeah. uh, over the course of time. But it's much harder to climb out of a big hole when you're hitting 050 to get that average up, you need a hot streak, you know, just to get it over the Mendoza line. And that, that is a, a big problem. Like, uh, Jung Hoo league tonight came into the game hitting two Oh five, but he went two for three tonight and raised his average to two thirty eight. So, I mean, he raised his average 33 points tonight. Um, yeah, so it can happen. I mean, but, you know, you look for signs. I I understand they have a higher hit ball rate than some of the other teams that are leading the league in hard hit ball rate, um, which is surprising. Um, you know, over the course of time, the ball will tend to find its place where the Infielders, outfielders are not, but um, yeah, Conforto's hurt again, right? What's what's the deal with him? Is he hurt? No, he's. I don't not. know how hurt. They just said he was a little achy on the broadcast. A little. Uh, what the hell, achy? What What was the report? Achy. On... It's game eleven. How can you be achy after game eleven, man? Well, I mean, come I on, if, man. If, if you twisted something or pull, you know, I don't know what. Okay, did, I get it. Anybody... If you pull something, but if you don't don't use achy. Come on, don't. Well, use I don't know. They they said I can't remember what the words were, but uh, I'm just trying to see if I can find something on the. Uh, let me see. I think I might be able to find something on that. Uh, Alive Insurance says is Farhan on the hot seat. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think so. I don't think Farhan's on no hot seat. No, I don't think I so. I don't think so. I wish. I wish, I wish, I wish. Upon Wait, a... they said left side. Don't tell me it's a damn oblique. What What Nick, was it? Nick says they said it's left side on the radio. Oh, is that got, what they said? If okay. it's left side, that's an oblique. 
That's not good. Let's see. Pulled side. Okay, Rob, see, that's an oblique. Left side. Okay, left so side. you're swinging left. You yeah, that's where you're, that's where you're that, pulling. That's your left side. Yep. Yeah. Probably a oh, minor. brother, man. <laughs> oh, brother. Really? Oh, maybe that's why Glenn is thinking. Glenn. Matos, yeah. Sharp guy, Glenn. You, head of your time. Shyster man out there uh, thinking that away, Glenn. You know how to play fantasy. That's, <laughs> that's what I used to do in football. I picked yeah, up yeah, guys yeah, yeah. That, picked up guys that I was. I shouldn't tell all my tricks. My, you my shouldn't secrets. say nothing. Yeah. I, I don't think I'll say my secrets, but uh, it involves one of the basics of education. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, there were turd great point i was watching the broadcast too and i was like oh yeah they said 25 tonight no way no way i saw did you see the upper deck there was in the, the left deck field, was empty. there was no set empty the it was section empty. Yeah. it wasn't a soul in two of the sections yeah it was ridiculous and then they're going to say 25 so that means it was uh according to them it was uh what 25 uh, thousand divided by 41, 61 percent full. No, bull crap, 61 percent full. No, 61 percent. Not when you have empty sections with zero, nada, nobody, right? In, in them, yep. And you know, oh, they just all compacted, yep. Um, oh, Glenn said he had an entire section to himself. Were you wow. in the lower? Were you in the lower bowl or the upper bowl? Upper deck, Glenn. Well, senior, he took a picture. Man, he got down to the down to the damn net on the uh, first base side. Yeah, I see. He had uh, Larry. Uh, yeah, attendance is tickets sold, not how many people showed yeah. up. That's what it is. Tickets sold. Come on, Larry. You you got uh, senior got a picture with uh, Larry uh, Bear on the. Um, oh man, that was I I. I had vomit come up to my throat when I saw that thing come across my phone. Wait a minute. Right about here. I had to choke that shit down. <laughs> Did you? Nasty. You know, you Yeah, could. obliques are on both sides. Right. You got your oblique on your left and an oblique on your right. Those are similar to your hammies, man. You pull one of those and you're out for a while. Yeah. Yeah. What happened to that picture of, of Bear? Did I saw it earlier. It's in there. It's in there. Oh, it was cool, though. Uh, senior son was able to give a uh, little uh, bracelet to uh, Vargas on the Nationals. Took it up with him, who was at bat. When, uh, but the bases loaded. It got, drew a walk. So his his little bracelet gave an RBI to uh, one of the National players. Kind of cool. Oh, did he wear it? Yeah, it was on the broadcast. I saw it. Wait a minute. The Vargas wore it? Yeah, he wore it. It was on his, uh, up on his forearm, on his uh, left hand. Left arm, I should say. He gave it to him during the game when he was no, in the yeah, when, box, he, when he was in a uh, when on he deck? was getting yeah, on the deck circle, yeah. Really? Yep. Wow, I see him holding it. Yeah, it was this, awesome. This picture right here, this one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, he was holding it, and then he there's another picture where it shows a, wearing it in the on deck circle. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on his left forearm. And then you saw, and when he went up today at bat, he was wore it the whole time. Yep. There you go. Pretty cool. Oh. And and he walked? He walked and got an RBI. <laughs> he grinded. He grinded. He grinded. He did. And, that, and that's what it says on the uh, – look at that. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yep. There you go. And that's what he did. It says grind. That's awesome. That's pretty That's cool. awesome. Wow. Nice, nice. What happened to the pitcher with Bear? I don't see uh... – it's there. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. But look, um, at the, look at the seagulls. Yeah, I saw that one. Oh my goodness. And then, and then you got down south, the San Diego Padres who were down, down eight runs. They were, they were losing eight to zero and they made a comeback and actually won the game nine to eight. Incredible. Yeah. There's no way the Giants could come down from an eight-run deficit at this point in time. No way. 
Yaz is so damn bad. Yes, Vince. I agree. Not our Vince. But it's Vince Pinder. Yeah. Pinder. It's, gosh, man. Yeah, oh, you, you think Wicked about, think about awesome. the Giants. They won yesterday's game based on, you know, a couple of errors by Hassan Capitalizing Kim. on mistakes. Capitalizes. And they got, they basically would have only had one run, and they got three, two extra runs. Correct. Because of that. So they, they ended up with the, the three runs. They really <laughs> – they were shut out. Um, what day were they shut out? Saturday, right? Saturday, right? Yeah. Yeah. Saturday, they were shut out. Friday, they had to come from behind in one opening game. What was that? Three to two? Three to two. Mm, yeah, right? Yeah. Let's go back and look. Webb I gave up remember. two runs. Right. That's he left. Yeah. He, right. He left right. trailing two to one. Right. They come back, they win three to two. Correct. Saturday shut out. Sunday, mm -hmm. three to two, with two runs in the eighth that off errors. Off errors. Otherwise, they might have only scored one run and tonight Correct. one run. And what? Yeah, they're not scoring any runs. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, three straight games of, yeah. Uh, so, if Slater or uh, Conforto is going to be hurt, then I'm assuming that Matos is up, but. Are they going to play Matos or are they going to play Wade? Good question, Dan. That's a great question. You know, and if you're going to have Wade, why not? If you're going to have Wade play the outfield, why didn't you just keep uh, J.D. Davis and play him at first base along with Flores and get rid of Yaz? There you go. But that makes too much sense, Dan. Um, a beer credit of fifteen dollars, a free beer, and an and no one showing up. <laughs> fifteen dollar beer credit. Wow, that he buy you what a half a beer? I think it'll get you a beer. <laughs> Fifty half, fifteen bucks gets 15 you a bucks one beer. About a half a beer. Yeah. No, I think their beers are fifteen now. They got one that last year was nine, but uh, I think it was not the better beer uh uh so um yeah i hear what you're saying cryptic about jd davis he's gone i'm just making a point that uh you know you could have kept him instead of yaz but yeah now move on with luciano and matos get these guys up at some po point and and I think we're repeating where we were last year, really. I mean, you remember where they were last year, and then they brought up uh, the young guys, and they started actually right. playing better, more enthusiasm. And then, uh, you know, they when they tailed off. But the vets just don't have it. Uh, nope. Uh, Los doesn't believe it's Melvin's lineup. Interesting. He says uh, this is not Melvin's lineup. He's not that stupid and stubborn. He played the game. No, that, come on. There's no way it's Farhan doing this. No way. You never know. No way. Come on. Really? You think so? I don't know what the Yaz thing. The Yaz thing feels like it's a like a Farhan. Uh, because Farhan signed him to $8 million. Right. He can't cut him loose now. He looks terrible if he cuts him loose in the first week and says he's benched. Doesn't he? Because it looks bad. It looks hey, bad. I, That's I, the I, issue. I, I tendered this guy $8 million when I when he probably shouldn't have been tendered. I, I, I got to play it out and let, let, it, let it play out more than 10 games. Exactly. I think Farhan's mandating that Yaz is in there. And I think he, I do believe he, he mandated that Matos not play when he went to San Diego, because I do believe it's all around Yaz because if Matos really, you know, was smoking the ball and it's like, now what do you do with Matos? You bring back Yaz and, and sit Matos. I think that would have been a huge problem. Exactly. 
I mean, it's pretty, to me, it's pretty clear. It, it's, you do not want Matos to come up and, and, and show up Yaz, the guy that you paid $8 million when you had a choice not to pay him, right? I mean, that's the thing. He was basically, uh, it cost you nothing to move on from Yaz. Right. And you chose to give him $8 million. You think he's worth $8 million, but you don't think Brandon Belt is worth 4 or $5 million. I mean, I'd rather have Belt playing in at first base and Wade in the outfield than Yaz. It's just, I mean, it's it's not even really close. I mean, Yaz is going to get a hold of a few and he's going to knock some out and he'll get hot eventually for a week, right? Mm-hmm. He'll have a week, maybe two weeks where he's starting to hit the ball well and he's hitting over 300 for the the period, maybe 400 for a week, and then uh, he'll just settle back down. Exactly. So it, it's it's really uh, – yeah, Lydia says Yaz is injury prone too. Did we just have a super that uh, I saw? Oh, yeah, we do. There you go. I'm hitting it right there. All right. By Victor1. Thank you, Victor. Uh, Giants remind me of the Zoan 20 mannequins. <laughs> um, well, it's going to be tough for Vince's ball club <laughs> to um, – right now the ball club is four and seven. They're going to have to go 16 and one if, if Vince is a prophet. So Vince said 20 and eight. So if he's wrong, do we stone him? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, what? That's, what? That's what they did to the prophets in the um, yeah, gotcha. Old Testament, right? They prophesied if they were wrong, they weren't a true prophet. They stoned him. Hey, check um, your uh, message real quick, Dan. Yeah. I, to I, I guess I could get stoned too if I'm wrong here in the rest of the series. So <laughs> I, I better be careful, huh? Uh, <laughs> Oh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, I thought that's what it was, oh, right? Try, I uh, hold on here, Cap. Uh, I could have sworn I thought that's what it was. Uh, try it this way. I know it's something like that, right? Oh, gotcha. Okay, let me try that. What's this for? For the um oh okay, gotcha. Yeah. I think that'll work. Success. There we go. Yeah, anybody got that umpire report? Or can you tell me where that you know what? Um let me try to I'll, let me try to find out. Let me get in I want to find that umpire report because I want to make a point. And why you're doing that, I'm gonna go get some water. I'm really thirsty. Awesome. Be right, right back. Hey, guys, just give me a minute here. I'm just messing with some stuff here. I will be with you shortly. Boom. Okay, there we go. Oh, brother. What do we got here? All right. So um, let's try this again. Any any, any big news tonight in uh, – I, I know college basketball tonight was uh, UConn repeated and beat Purdue handily, 75 to 60, to win the men's NC2A championship. Uh, Baseball-wise, though, um, let's, um, let's get a little bit of out-of-town scoreboard. Scoreboard. We, there you go. Let's take a look and see what's going on around the game, around the baseball diamond here. Hold on here. What happened to my – uh-oh. Oh, there we go. That's what I got to do. Technicalities. Um, okay. 
So we start off with the Giants Nationals. We saw that. We've covered that. Eight to one. Uh, Guardians shut down the White Sox, and those two teams are going in opposite directions. Guardians eight and two off to a really good start. White Sox one and nine. Marlins lose again after winning their first game yesterday, or one and ten. Uh, what kind of effect is that, uh, Eric? I'm sorry. Say that again. I'm just trying to get this figured out. Marlins one and ten after. Oh, one and ten. What, there you what, go. What what kind of effect is that? The um, uh, uh, that would be uh, <laughs> the uh, Gabe effect. The Gabe effect. Yeah. You know, where's your Marlins hat? hats? <laughs> where's those hats? You got any Marlins hats around? You got any here? Marlins hats? Yeah. Hey, uh, how about uh? You got any fish tacos? Place I can go <laughs> review. Jeez. Oh, man. All right. Pirates off to a smoking start. Last year they did this. I don't think they fade as bad this year as last year. I think the Pirates hang in there this you year. You think they're for real, huh? I don't think they're a juggernaut by any means, but I think they learned from last year. There's something to be said. Uh for that, Brian Reynolds hits his 100th big league homer. Wow. Joey Bart knocks in two runs tonight. Let's take a look at that box score, shall we? I think Joey Bart was one for three. No Ks. Good, good. One base on ball, so he's on base twice. Two RBIs and one run scored for Joey Bart. Joey Bart, and he hit a bullet up the middle that almost took the pitcher's glove right off of his hand. He smoked it, man. And uh, they called that in Pittsburgh a Bart dart. A Bart dart. Yep, that's what the announcer said. A Bart dart. He's hitting the ball hard there, man. Um, so let's go back to the scoreboard here, why don't we, and take a look. At some of the rest of the games, we got the Marlin Jankies. We covered that part. Okay. The Reds at home are six and four now, defeat the Brewers 10 to eight. Uh, the exciting thing there was Ellie De La Cruz hits two spectacular home runs from both sides of the plate. And one of them was what, Eric, and inside the Parker? Inside the Parker. Yeah. I wish we could show it to you here, but uh, we're. Um, We'll get our hands slapped pretty hard. And, yeah, uh, I know. So go uh, check that out. You can go to ESPN.com and right here what you're looking at, you can click on those highlights and watch it. Um, Blue Jays beat the Mariners. Both teams struggling right now. The Mets, a struggling team, beat Atlanta in Atlanta 8-7. to seven. The Dodgers back on their winning ways, winning four to two over the Twinkies. The Phillies reach 500. They're beating the Cardinals five to three. Astros beat the Rangers 10 to five. And the Rockies at home come up with seven runs to beat the D backs. The D backs are struggling with the Giants. They're both four and seven, the Giants and D backs. Uh, D backs are 0 and 4 on the road. Um, Angels 6 and 4 beat the Rays 7 1. And the Padres, wait a minute, why does it say 8 0 final there? That's not right, is it? What was it? Is this today's games? Okay, there we go. Cool. Wait a minute, it's today's games. Why, why are they saying Pirates or Padres lost 8 to nothing? They I didn't. I thought it, they came back and won nine to eight. They came back, yeah. Well, look at this. Eight nothing. Can you see that? Let me look. Hold on. I'm just getting this real quick. There we what go. a what a monster. Eight blow to it. zero. Yeah, that ain't right. And then it says right next to it, Tatis two run go ahead home run completes <laughs> remarkable Padres comeback. <laughs> oops. How, how, oops. Hey, somebody uh at ESPN um intern fired. <laughs> Come on, you can't make that mistake. Okay, I think Heroku says they seize nine eight. Maybe they maybe they 
Well, let me pull it back up. Let's get this going. This still says eight. Here. Still says eight nothing on my screen. That is strange. There it is. See, eight nothing. But then there we go. Tatis two run homer. Now, if we look at the box score, I bet it's yeah eight, nine eight. <laughs> there it is. Seven runs in the sixth. There we go. Got this. Seven runs in the sixth. Wow. And the Cubs were off to a pretty good start. Who gave that one away for the um, – Yeah, who was Cubs? it? Who was pitching? Uh, it looks like – Assad. No? No? Wow. He gave up two. Then Kuas. 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 Gave little, up two. Little gave up a little. Naris gave up a little. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Gee, we're two, four. It was a combo. Yeah, wow. Darvish got knocked around. So, uh, yeah. Did you find that umpire report deal? Oh, yeah. It's on. Uh, hold on. Uh, it's on. Hold on one second. I'll find it right here. Ump scorecards on X. Hold on. Let me look that up. Let me bring it up on this. Ump scorecards. Yeah, I want to because I I don't know if uh if uh if let me give him a if, follow. Hold on, here we go. If what's his name was um so if they were just complaining we or or if they were right because it sounded to me from the pitches I saw that Snell was just missing it. It looked like they were just outside the box. So how the hell do I find this? I used to find it. I think it's just called. It's on. It's on here on Twitter. I'm looking right at it, but it's 14 hours ago here. I'm trying to find. What's the site here? I'll I'll uh, look. To... I get, hold on. Maybe they do have a website. They do. They do. I just scorecards.com. Yeah. Let me go there. Yeah. They should have tonight's right. game up. Let's see. What is this? Ooh, know. Lydia thinks Yaz will be unloaded with Solaire. Solaire is disappointing. I don't think they get rid of Solaire unless they're out of it at the break. Um, I think. Um, Whoa, what the hell is going on here? Hold on. What do you got? Today is the sewer. Are we? Where's Guccione? Guccione, huh? I'm looking for him. How come I'm just, not seeing him? Can you just look up the uh, hold on? That shows it doesn't game. show today's games. I only see up to the it's only oh, show a lot of today. times they don't show it till the next day. Yeah, we might have to wait on that one. Yeah, yeah, it's not showing it. Hmm. That Pat Hoberg's a good ump. He he usually gets pretty good scores. Yeah, he's not on there. So um wait for that tomorrow. Yeah. Um, tomorrow. Okay. Wait a minute. That kind of sucks. Who cares about tomorrow? Right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think they got to take a while to, to look at all the data and everything. And then they put it up. Interesting. What's this? Uh, it must've been blocked. What does the shot say in here? Oh, 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 damn. Yeah, and we're What's missing that? these. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Sorry about that. Here we go. Let's go. So we already got by uh we got by Victor. Reminds me of the Owen 20. Okay, here we go. We got uh Mark Graves donates five bucks. Prayers to faith. Thinking of you, Dan. Thank you, Mark. Really appreciate that. Got D shot for faith. Get well soon. Um, thank you, D shot. Yeah. Appreciate that, guys. Yeah, that's awesome. That is awesome. Yeah, that is cool. Yeah, I'm um yeah, it was I'm hoping it doesn't come down to a huge decision tomorrow with yeah, fin financial a financial decision, you know, of uh I get you, you know, five thousand plus. Ugh. Yeah. It's not um, fun. I understand. No, no. Yeah, she's you know, and she's still relatively young, you know, six yeah. and a half six and a half. That's you know? pretty young. Yeah, she's been a good dog. Poor Buster, he probably doesn't know what's going on right now. Uh so um 
we didn't block D shot, did he? he? Says I must have no, been no, blocked. no, 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 oh. no. Because okay. I, we didn't, I didn't even know that came up because I was busy trying to get all these damn access to the to the channels. Oh, okay. On YouTube, yeah, yeah. So, but overall, you know, I think the Giants' bats wake up more when they're on the road. They tend to hit better on the road. Um, it's not a you know, team. Well, they didn't hit much in LA. Yeah. I mean, they didn't hit well a lot last year because they just didn't have any. And I'll tell you what, Daniel, you know, what's really concerning yesterday. We, we faced the number five pitcher for, for the Padres, you know, really wasn't, they, they they couldn't do nothing against that guy until they got to the bullpen. And then it was theirs today. You're facing Trevor Williams. I don't know who the guy is. I don't know if he's good or not good. But it's the Nationals, and you can't put up more than one run in your home ballpark. It's, not, it's yeah. just I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah. Yes, uh, I get it. It's early. I understand, but it's these are the these are, you you got you got to these are the games you got to win, right? You got to win against teams like this if you want to be if you have serious. Uh, aspirations of getting into the playoffs, you got to beat teams like this. Granted, there's two more games. They could still pull out the series. You got, what, Harrison going tomorrow, right? Yeah, Harrison tomorrow. And then who's Wednesday? Isn't it Harrison against... um, Oh, um, um, Josiah Gray. Josiah Gray, yeah. That should be a good match. And then it's Corbin Burns versus... Not Corbin Burns, but... uh, Not Corbin Burns. Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin. Going against, against Hicks. Hicks. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a day game Wednesday. Okay. Um. So yeah, I mean, I, I yeah. I don't Blame know. it on the eclipse, says Alive Insurance. <laughs> yeah. What the Giants need is a Friday night victory. With Camilo Duvall coming in for the save with the light show, that's what they need. They need to get uh, some energy into that park. Yeah, but you're going to have a light show for what half of half the attendance? <laughs> oh, I mean, on a Friday night, a Friday, Friday night. night, yeah. That's yeah. what I said. A Friday night, um, get get things going, and then go into the weekend and sweep somebody. Um, is this legit? Are they five for 55 with runners in scoring position in the last eight games? Um, uh, it must be, and they do not have a stolen base yet, Los. They've only attempted one that I recall. Five for 55 with runners in scoring position. And this in the was last the problem game? last year. This was, the yes, problem it was. Last year. This, and, and, yes, and, and the only things they did differently was Lee, Chapman, and Solaire. Right? No, there's no other difference to Lee, the lineup. Chapman, Soler, Ahmed. Well, Ahmed's a, <laughs> Ahmed's just like he, he doesn't even count at the plate. But yes, everyone else is the same. So I mean, I think Ahmed's probably less of a threat than Crawford. At least Crawford gave you a threat of hitting one out, you know. Um so now think about this. Lee's an unknown, you know, great hitter in the KBO. So far, he's showing signs of potential, has the potential to be a really good hitter, but does he prove it? Chapman, you kind of know what Chapman is. He's got a, a long track record. Right. And And I don't think, you know, He's no different than J.D. Davis at the plate. And J.D. Davis was good but struggled mightily Mm -hmm. in the second half and struck out a ton. Chapman strikes out a lot. How many times did Chapman strike out tonight? At least once. I know once. Uh, Let me look. I know for sure once. I mean, uh, box score, Chapman, 0 for 3. One base on ball, one strikeout. Hitting 182. Well, Chapman is not going to hit for
for average. It's just not. Now, didn't he have a hot April last year? Last year, he had a very hot April. He's hitting over That's 400. So much, not so much now. And he tailed off badly after that. And <laughs> it was all about the... Um, um here you want me to bring that tweet hmm. i could bring it up on the big it's the same uh senior sent the same tweet that uh you talked about earlier oh, okay the hard and, hit rate oh yeah and solaire is hitting 225 and solaire is basically about a 240 hitter because he, he has a massive power which is nice you can you can handle solaire's bat in the lineup at 240 because of his home runs if some other guys are getting on base but if those guys aren't getting on base, you basically neutralize Solaire's effectiveness. Yep. And Solaire, man, he's not he's not getting into any he's not getting into anything. All right, here here's the tweet. Let's let's get into this a little bit. I mean, it's, there's I'm not going to I'm not going to blame Susan for this. She's just stating facts here. But the Giants are hitting the ball harder than any team in baseball entering tonight. The hard hit rate of 45.6% and our second in average exit velo at 90.3, both way up from last year. But they have yet to hit a homer at home. It's only been three games, but it's still weird. I'm guessing three games at home, right? Is that what they're trying to say? Yeah, try four. And now it's four. So, I mean, this – this is where you gets a little bit wonky with numbers, right? Sometimes, sure they got a high hard or uh, or a uh, hard hit rate, sure. But look what they're doing! How many runs are they putting across that plate, right? Yeah, and I I don't. Uh, I don't know. Forgive me if I'm wrong, but. I don't recall a ton of hard hit balls. I guess if you're counting the balls hit to the track by Chapman or I, I guess or balls that are or bars that hit that uh but you know that, what that fine gloves. Yeah. I mean I mean to me a hard ball bad luck is when you hit a line shot in the it's right at the shortstop mm -hmm. or second baseman, it's 110 miles an hour, or if you hit one a a rope out into the gap in the guy flags it down but if you're hitting a 90 okay 90.3 right average if you're hitting a 92 mile per hour ball that is a deep fly to the outfield it means it, nothing that happens all you the got, time you kind of have to put it that's what i'm trying to say is you got to put it in context yeah where are these balls going are they going to the outfield are they are they going you know are they screaming line drives through the infield i don't know but we're watching the game, and it's not doing nothing. I don't me. see any hard hit balls that are like, "Oh my goodness, that was smoked! What a bad break right. that was!" I, I'm, I, you know, I think we're counting, like I'm saying, these balls that are hit to the outfield by Chapman when he hits in, or they get a hold of one, and it's, you know, just a long out. I mean, a lot of pitchers pitch for those mm -hmm. um, fly ball outs and they pitch location to get the guy off his timing just enough that he doesn't get all of it. Right. Oh, uh, we got uh Diami drums, Diami, Diami drums. Hey, thanks for the two bucks, man. I appreciate it. Hopefully I got, hopefully I didn't butcher your name. Bailey is terrible. Now auto out traded Bart. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, I've always I, I I haven't I mean I'm one of the few guys out there. I'm yeah, just you, not you yeah, I'm you. not crazy on Bailey. He threw another one in the outfield. Oh, he also um dropped that ball, right? Dropped a ball. Yep. I I texted it. It was a strike, and Bailey, you saw him try and move it quickly, and it went off his glove and then called it a ball. Now Snell ended up striking him out, but how many times – I just don't recall catchers dropping balls and missing balls a lot. In because they're trying to frame. Yeah. I don't know. They'll never be as good of a catcher as Buster, man. Have you ever seen the highlight of Buster oh. Posey um, 
take getting called strikes and then just running off to the dugout. And yep, yep. Making just it, pops making, up and just pops up and takes off like and and they're, some of, some of them are balls, and Ump's just like oh. Okay, Buster says. If Buster okay. says something, <laughs> <laughs> rings them up. Yeah, exactly. Because I mean, yeah, Lydia P. Just... You're you're exactly right. Exactly what I'm saying. Bailey is missing pass balls off of his glove. But, but here's the thing, and this is what pisses me off. We talked about this, right? But people will push back. Oh, Bailey, he's the best thing ever that's happened to the Giants since Buster Posey. Everyone just gets up in arms because he had a flash in the pan. He's throwing out people all over the place. I get it. I understand that. But you got to sometimes you got to temper expectations. Let him do this over a few seasons, right? And then see what you got. We're seeing now. Last yeah. year, he led the league in, in pass balls. Yeah. But now, now it's a little bit heightened because now he's not throwing guys out at second base no more. So now, so now it's you know the pendulum is starting to swing back the other direction. Yeah, you just, I don't. I don't think he has a. He doesn't have a rocket arm for catcher. It's it's um. The pop it's time quick. Yeah. He gets rid of it quicker than anybody in baseball. But when he th- it's not he, accurate. It's not accurate a lot. Sometimes the, it the is tail away, when it is yeah. accurate. And and it's like right at the you know right side of the bag, um, mm-hmm. his right side of the bag, right at the bag, but right boom, then he's gonna get a lot of guys out. But it's you know um, I, you know what I said that when 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 Bart was traded to Pittsburgh, I said the curse of Joey Bart. Do you think maybe uh-huh. maybe? Hey. You never know. I mean, I'm just it's it's I'm just saying that just for conversation. I'm watch, not, watch you know, Joey Bart go do what Dubon did at Houston. Maybe it it could happen. Hey, um, baseball's funny that way. Yeah, I mean, it looks like Bart is going to probably get to catch almost every other game. Yeah. Um, they're letting him play. They're just letting him go, right? Well, they're playing him and Davis, and they're they're. Uh, Oh, Henry Davis, but he could play the outfield too, though. Davis can. He's a catcher. <laughs> oh, you got something good? Oh, that's funny. I got to play Los's uh, tweet. <laughs> this is pretty funny. Let me, let me, let me. Uh... Farhan isn't waiting much longer. Are you, you believe that, Glenn? Do you think Farhan isn't going to wait much longer? Mm, I don't know, man. I, w- I want to, I don't, let's just say I don't put my f- trust in Mr. Farhan Zaidi. Maybe he'll prove me otherwise. He hasn't yet. All right. Let's pull up the old tweet by uh, Los here. Where is it? Hey, oops! What happened to it? Ah, yeah, yikes! Is that is it is it up on the screen? Yes, it is. Did did I lose everything? Uh, no, I see it up there. What do you see? I don't know what. Okay, Carlos you see in Los? Yeah, I see okay, Los. Okay, there we go. Where did it go? Wait a minute! Did he send that out or did? Did he re- maybe he retweeted. If he retweeted it, then you got to go to his or repost, whatever it's called. Wait a minute. Apologize to Far. <laughs> nope. Ain't doing it, Orange. Oh, that you have to go. Then, you man. have to go to his retweet. Yeah, go to his repost. And then how do you he, do that? Re- see where it says replies? Hit that. If he replied, hit reply. Is he replying it or is he posting it? What's he doing? I thought. Yeah, here it is. Okay. All right. Says uh, Matos outside Oracle after Yaz goes over four. With three games. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, man. I like that. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. That's good. Whoever that guy is, Ray, that was good, man. I like it. Nothing like it. Yeah. Ed Pavlovich. Did I get? Tagged on this, or did Lowe's tag me? Okay, Lowe's tag yeah. you. Yeah, that's funny. It's pretty good. 
Matos outside Oracle. <laughs> That's good. Oh gosh. I yeah. still think you are we gonna hold on to beginning of May is when it gets called up. Um I mean if Yaz keeps striking, look, look, look. It's one thing if if you if you're getting outs, but you're hitting the ball, it's one thing, right? But when yeah. you're striking out as much as he is, what is this here? Hold on, let's look at his um K rate, right? Yeah. And that's I don't think it's gonna take in consideration. Yeah, Glenn, game, right? Glenn says that uh, no way he gets DFA. The team isn't parting with the money. I don't think they do till May. I really don't. Eight million dollars is. Uh, no, they I said it. tonight. Oh, hey, we believe in you know whatever blah, what blah, they're going to say and what they yeah. do. Maybe. Yeah. I okay. Let's I, see. Wait, I think it's. If I look at, I think they showed a strikeout rate right later on here. Let me see on the advance. It should strikeout it, percentage. 47.4%. And I'm guessing that's of yesterday. Yeah, it would be as of yesterday. How many at bats? Uh, with, let me go up. Give me the. No, that can't be. Is that right? For 16, just this year. 16, 16 at bats? How many strikeouts? Nine. Nine? Nine. See, I think that was left over from yesterday. I think that's, I think that was yesterday. It's it's not from today. So, so who knows what it's today? Wait a minute. So nine. He's ten. He's at uh, eleven three. now. <laughs> no, he had nine, right? He had nine as of yesterday. And he struck out once today. Twice today. Twice. Twice. Out of how many at bats? Four. Four. So that would be eleven divided by twenty. That would be fifty-five percent. There's a live insurance. Yep. He's yep. 55% K rate. You, you, you can't. Have a oh, you can part. I'm telling you right now, you stick with a 55% freaking K rate. I'm partying with $8 million. Get out of here. Man. Well, oh. if he's at hey, if he's at 50% after come on 50 at bats, you, you get gotta you you gotta you gotta get rid of him. I mean, you, you, you got to. I mean you can't. You can't accept that. That's a, it's unacceptable. I'm sorry, it is. I mean, it's 100 he, percent unacceptable. He, he's at 11 in 20 at bats. So over his next 30 at bats, if he only strikes out nine times, um, nine times, and he's at 50 at bats, uh, that is 40 percent which is huge that's still unacceptable 40 percent. they get rid of guys with 40 percent. they got rid of bart who had a you know yes high k rate yes they couldn't handle it um you can't and you got so you he's got that. he can only strike out nine more times in the next 30 at bats if he strikes out um 14 times in his next 30, 30 at bats, he's at Ooh, 50%, 50%. That's 50%. He will be, a, he'll be 25 for, out of 50. Yeah. He'll be. Yeah. Yeah. That you can't. Yeah. Yeah. John R. You know, talk about Bart. I like the Bart has at least has power. Exactly. John, you, this lineup has no power. Hardly. I mean, it's a power outage. Soler has power. Uh, Conforto has power. I mean, true power, right? Where you can right. you can you see got the guys raw hit, power. Hit thirty, yeah. where they can hit thirty. Uh, Chapman has potential to hit thirty, but I think he's more like a twenty-ish guy. I really do. I think he's twenty, twenty-two homers. Chapman. That's Wade. He's a 15 home run guy, maybe, maybe 20 tops. Yes, he can hit 20. He's done it before, but I don't see it go. I don't see it anymore. Um, it's, it's, it's just, yeah. I mean, what did I tell you that Solaire would hit this year? What did I predict? About 23? Yeah. You, oh, I think you, did you say 23? I thought it was a little bit more than that. No, I think I said about 23. You said 23. 
I didn't think he was going to hit 30 because everyone's talking about he's going to hit 30 home uh, runs. Yeah. He ain't going to yeah. hit 30 home runs. He might get hot on the road when it warms up. I'll tell you, guys are going to start hitting the ball when it definitely warms up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially if you're going to uh, places like Cincinnati and, and uh, Pittsburgh, Atlanta yeah. and Pittsburgh. Exactly. Yeah. The ball I mean, will fly. Yeah, it's it's going to warm up. Colorado. But, th- you know, this is a tough month. April's really, really tough. But um, they are what now? Four and seven. Four and seven. You can- yeah. And um, and who did they play the Mets after this? Right, the next series. No, no, they go to Florida. Oh, that's right. They go to Florida for they Tampa got, Bay got, and Miami, right? Yeah. And the problem is, what they're they're hitting these teams at the wrong time because they're hitting. Um, uh, Washington was three and six, right? But they won yesterday. Mm-hmm. So they be they were two and six. Right. And then they won yesterday. You don't want to hit teams that when they start are, coming out of it. Well, the, the law of averages, you're gonna st- start winning at some point. Mm-hmm. Um and the you know, the Marlins are one and ten. All right, they're one and ten. They play the Giants next week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Tampa Bay is the first series. Um, so if Miami is sitting there six, seven games from now, you know, three and 15, whatever, then mm-hmm. I think the Giants will be a, they, it's going to be tough because they, they it may, is. They, they, the Giants may be their punching bag. So, um, and, and Miami always plays them hard in, in Miami every time. Um, so, yeah, you got to, you got to find guys like Lowe's saying they, they got to find guys that hit the ball to the gaps. This team, you, who who's out there? Who's out there in the MLB that hits for high average right now? Well, you got Arias that's going to hit for average. Um, but who else? But who's? That's what I'm saying. It's like the the baseball is totally different than it was when we grow up. We're talking about wanting to have high average guys, but it doesn't seem like there's any of those type of guys out there. Yeah, the the superstars are. But hey, you're. Here's a question for you in the chat. Do you think the things with these arm troubles of these Ooh. guys throwing huge velocities and 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 the pitch Getting clock the and everything, uh, do you think pole? that the emphasis gets back to pitching instead of velocity, and then right. you start start to see guys that hit for three hundred a lot more because they're Seeing Superstar guys that are throwing ni- 93, 94, maybe 95 tops instead of this. Con- you know, driveline, places like driveline have risen, helped guys increase their speed, their velo right. by five miles per hour in an off season. Right? I mean, they did it even for Manaya last year. So these guys are and, – and you know what? Hmm. It starts – Young, right? not in the- high school, uh, not in the pro game. If you want to get to college, you better have a fastball that reaches mid nineties. Gotcha. If you want to get into the pros, obviously, you know, get drafted, you got to have a fastball in mid nineties. Because nobody's drafting these guys that throw at eighty eight. They're just nope. not getting drafted. Nope. Maybe a few of them that are, you know. I don't know, Wizenhunt. He doesn't seem like a flamethrower. You know That's a good. I think we see if I can find that. Um. Yeah, I. These elbow issues. That's an interesting because yeah, it's gonna, it's going to uh, continue to fester. I mean, between the players' union and MLB, it's it's a problem that's not going to go away, and they're going to have to figure Plus, it out. You want to make money. You better throw 95 plus, you know? 
just too many guys out there that are throwing 97, 98. I don't know. Um, I want to see. I want to see the game go back more. Hey, here's an interesting thought. If guys continue to get hurt, pitchers, does the union? Um, what do you think? Who who would win the? Who would win in public opinion? If. Um, the uh, pitchers were, are getting hurt still, right? Mm -hmm. Who who wins in public opinion if um, the union says we're going on strike unless you change the pitching clock from fifteen huh. to twenty and eighteen to twenty five? Give these guys a chance. To breathe. 18 seconds with men on base is stressful. You're just getting it and slinging it. Getting it and throwing. Yep. And so the arm is just constantly. You know, but I mean, you know, here, here, here's the thing I want to figure. Okay. Yeah. They, I understand they got it. Is that time frame between pitches that detrimental or is it more these guys just trying to throw out? I mean, they're trying to go. I think it's a combination of both. I it think it's be a combination, combination of both because yeah. I think what happens is when you want to gear up and throw hard, mm -hmm. sometimes you got to take a breath or two and get yourself, Correct. you right. know, ready right. to really sling it. But if if you're just getting the ball back and you're not, you're not. So now all of a sudden you're trying to throw hard, but you're maybe using more of your arm than your legs. Right. And it could do, it, it could also be your pitching motion as well. If you're putting right. more torque on your elbow rather than, as you said, using your legs. Ah, it, it, it's interesting because I don't know how that's, how that gets fixed because this may be a quote unquote, a cultural change that has to happen within the game. Because if it's happening at the lower levels, talking little league, high school, college, if that's where it's being preached, oh, it is. You know, it's it gonna is. it's gonna have to change at that level. Senior but says senior says it's starting at age ten. Well, see, there you go. I mean, there there's your problem. So something has to change. But the the people who are in charge of these leagues need to do something about it. I don't know what you do. I don't know how you. Uh, I don't know how you. I mean, you don't want to legislate it. I, I don't know. You know, I'll tell you what I'm doing. This is what I'm doing to get my breaks in an inning. When I got Rowdy Telez on first base, mm -hmm. I'm just taking a couple of thro soft throws. A couple over. of lobs. A couple of lobs. Just you know he's not going to go. He not going. Right. Ah, man, I don't understand some of these guys, why they don't think, like, out of the box. Come on. You got to think with your head. Like... If you got a guy on base that's not necessarily a, a stealer, just throw a couple of lobs over there. There's right? a lot of ways if you want to you manipulate can. the stupid rules, this is how you do it. I brought this up to Kapler last year, and he goes, hmm, hadn't thought of that. <laughs> uh, um, oh, hey, uh, where's your Marlins hats at? <laughs> all right. Instead of, instead of doing this, you want to get some rest? For the pitcher, just instead throw of holding four up balls. four, instead of holding up four, no, you don't take four balls. Just you lob take them four, over. No, you don't lob them. You take clock violations, four of them. Oh, there you go. Okay. I Fair brought enough. this up to Kapler. I said, hey, Gabe, have you ever thought of um, there you go. the pitch better. clock um, instead of, you know, trying to get your pitcher a little extra rest? Uh, instead of holding up four fingers, just take pitch violation, clock violations, and then you get your pitcher a full minute to get get him self. He right. says, centered. Uh, yeah. I, I, haven't, I haven't thought of that one. Uh, you know, but has anybody done it yet? I don't no. Think so. No. That's why they need to hire me as a consultant, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> Well, maybe Either, they just don't, the look, issue maybe they just don't want guys on base, maybe. 
that's that may be the just the issue. They don't want what? Maybe they just don't want the person on base. No, if you're gonna put up four fingers and walk them anyway, right, right, right. I see what, what I'm you're saying. saying. Instead of giving them a potential free pass by holding up four, put them on base by taking a delay. That that's you, true. But how often do they do intentional walks right now? It's usually once that's, every every game or two, every couple of games. You see it. But, but I hear I hear what you're saying. See, and then I if you got fat, so you got fat, so Rowdy Telez. Who isn't going to steal a base? Just sit there and go, oh, see, I, I'm just step off, throw the ball. Or, you know, just throw just, just a, a nice lob. little arc lob that's very soft on the arm, not even a stretch. Maybe at all. even roll it to first base. <laughs> Just roll it the first place. Whatever. Just roll it. <laughs> but do something to make a Play point. Some. Make Play a point. Uh, you know what? I'm Box gonna beat I'm gonna beat your system. Because I know he ain't running. Now I've got I just gave myself a little break. Yeah. Okay. I hear what you're saying. And that is how you got to work around the edges of the rules. Um <laughs> because uh, what's so funny Man, Rowdy's mom on line <laughs> one <laughs> Calling names man Or another guy that ain't running Wilmer Flores You ever seen yeah, that guy trying running. Wilmer man You might as well just put quicksand right over there at first base <laughs> Because he ain't getting out of the box He's just like Oh my god I know You seen Wilmer take off man It's like Ugh. <laughs> Gee, you got to get out out there with a hand crank. <laughs> I mean, you got to you got to do something to I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. You 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 box me in, I'm going to find a way out. Um you put There is definitely something cuz I mean, uh players union, they're starting to talk about it a lot more. Um Yeah, hey, if I'm a player and I'm in this, and I'm pitcher. I'm organizing a, a a strike. See, that's the last thing this the baseball needs. Yeah, but you know what? Over a pitch clock of a few seconds. Who oh, you the, know, good point. Who yeah. wins the public opinion yeah, on that? Good point. Good point. The, Got the, a point. The, the 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 union would kill on that because they're saying yeah. we need some time. Our pitchers are what? You think the fans want to go out and watch? Uh, uh, Kai Wei Ting replacing, um, you know, Blake Snell. If Snell's, you know, you got to start right. Kai Wei Ting tonight because Blake Snell blew his arm out. Right. I hear what you're saying. Um, That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good know, point. I think the players got leverage on that. You're right. They totally have leverage. It's just like, you know, yeah. you go to your union guy, Tony Clark, and say, look, we can't take this anymore, man. Our pitchers, you shaved off two seconds without even giving us a chance. You, you just, uh arbitrarily said it's no longer 20 seconds it's 18 now you guys are you know men on base you know what i'm the kind of i'm the guy when the playoffs come i don't even want a pitch clock because we I, talked about that yeah just get rid of it during the playoffs sam because you know what i want to see a nice game and i want to i love the i want to see situation. dramatics dramatic yeah there's dramatics. No dramatics yeah yeah what did Lowe say here he said something have funny. a good one mitchell <laughs> he says, Dan, I love that idea. I take it to another level and sit on the mound for 15 times four equals 60 seconds and drink a Gatorade with some nachos. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah, you just want to you want to show these guys, man. Look, you're going to play this game with us, this clock game. Well, then we're going to make a farce of it. Mm -hmm. We're going to make a farce of your rules because you got to be able to. Uh, uh, you you got to be able to make uh, sense of some of these rules, you know. To me, I didn't mind watching a pitcher when Ricky Henderson was on base throw over for eight times. Mm. You know why? Because, because it, was it was a, a duel. It, it was, was a, a duel. Battle. Yeah, exactly. It was a stinking duel, and now everybody boos. Yeah, they didn't boo back then when when. Um, Lou Brock was stealing bases. You got 
you know what you got now? You got these, um, what do you call them? Uh, this generation. Oh, uh, um, what is it now? It's not millennials. That's later. Um, whatever. They have no, they have no, no attention span. No patience. Yeah. yeah. And so they don't have any pretend. You know, quit marketing to those guys. Yeah, I know. You know what? The Z. game. Is the it's game... the Z. Everyone's saying Z, 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 Z. Okay. It's the only doggone game without a clock. Well, not no more. Well, that's what I mean. It, yeah. But it was the only was. game, and that's what made it special. It didn't I agree. Have a, it I didn't agree. have a stinking clock. And you went out there, you know, you, you fly to Chicago to spend some time with your buds and watch a game, and you spend three and a half hours just shooting the breeze. And you mm -hmm. don't care because you're on vacay. And, you know, you're enjoying the ball game. You go to a ball game to enjoy the the relaxation. And now, it's, it's it's a game of conversation. And it's just you you take it in. It's just baseball's different, but they're trying to change it because it's all about the money. That's what it's about. Yeah. What is Ben Bamboo saying here? Japan has the solution. What is Japan doing, Ben? I have no idea. He says, and it's proven. Tell us what the solution is, because um, I don't know what that is. Yeah, leave our game alone. Exactly, Lowe's. I tell you, it's it's just so frustrating because I don't even like just going to a game. I don't want a quick two-hour and 15-minute game when I go to the game. I'm just getting settled in an hour, <laughs> starting to enjoy my scenery, you know, and I want to, you know, you know, now, I mean, I understand the netting and all that. It's a safety issue. But you don't even have to watch the game if you're behind the net anymore. You used to have to be on your guard when you watch. You couldn't miss a stinking pitch when you, when you were in foul ball territory because you didn't want to get, you know, rung up side of the head. But <laughs> I love it, Heroku. Yes. In old days of radio. They I threw high it. 90s and 300 plus innings year after year. <laughs> No, Heroku. Uh, Eric's days are more like they threw in the mid seventies to low eighties. Come on, low eighties, and they threw five hundred innings. <laughs> That's Eric's era. Eric's era, like you know. Oh uh, man. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Japan six man, six -man rotation. rotation. It's going to be the new norm. Well, it looks like the Dodgers are going to maybe be implementing that. Um, okay, so six-man rotation, that gives you, um, what, about 26 starts instead of 32? Let me see. Here's a question. Does that, okay, does that play into the yeah, type of money they starts. can make with their contract? It sure does. It, it should change oh, the amount of money. I didn't see this news. It was eight hours ago. What's that? Is that legit? Is this him? Okay. Houston Astros ace Framber Valdez yeah. scratch for today's game because of elbow soreness. Yeah, elbow soreness. Another one of wow. Uh team Dan now Matt to the rescue <laughs> has wow. Yeah. Yep. Hey man. It's not going to stop. not going to stop you that's know that's incredible i'll tell you what though i don't mind seeing um you know they say bob gibson threw 100 miles per hour and koufax did did they i don't know i knew they threw hard i bet they did i want to be surprised they said ellie de la cruz went from home to home in under 15 seconds 14.96 seconds. That's it. I can do it in 12.8. Golly, man. He went from where? Woo! From home to home in 14.9 seconds. I could do that. Easy. You would blow out no. every muscle in your body. Home to home. You just don't leave. You just stay at home. I went from home to home, man. I never left. I just stay at home. I touched the base. Didn't take off. 
Uh, 14.9. I would love to watch that. Well, it looks like we got a trade. Oh, really? Let me take a look. I might have uh, still access to. You should. Uh, we got it. We got a trade. Trade. Not really. Not really a blockbuster. So I'm not gonna hit the. I'm not gonna hit the handy dandy. Uh, oh, matter of fact, son of a gun. Wonder why I don't see it. Look at transactions. You'll probably see it there. I didn't get an alert, but I think it's gonna get. Maybe it hasn't pushed through yet. I haven't seen it in transactions. Yeah, I don't think he's allowed it yet. Oh, look at your look it? at your uh, met phone messages. Phone messages. Yeah, in the group. Oh, in the group. Group me. That one. No, no, no. In the in the the text and on the phone. Oh. Who is this? Senior posted it. Jazz Chisholm. Oh, he's wanting steals. Come on, what is going on here? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I don't make any deals anymore. I turned it over. So. Yeah, it's a, it's, you're, Basically got 150 games for the most part to play. You're 10 to 12 games in for most of the teams. So you're still 150 plus games to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those who are at the top of fantasy leagues and those are at the bottom, there's going to be some shifts. Oh, 100%, man. We're only in, what, yeah. game 11? Yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah, it's it's really, really early. Um, oh, yeah, the players played. The deal can't go through until midnight. It says, um, uh, hmm. Yeah, so it, it's um, it's really kind of um. It's at oh, do I still have it? Which one do I have here? Hold on. What are see. you looking for? I'm uh sending something to Glenn. He asked for something oh, yesterday. Okay. All right, I'm 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 thinking you're doing something on the show here while I'm waiting on you. All right, so, um, all right, so. Los says, who has the team now? Matthew, Los, Matthew uh, from Atlanta has the team. So, um, yeah, I think he'll do a good job with it. You know, there's a lot of ways to play different leagues, I guess. D you know, different ways to do things. Um, he was telling me in some leagues you could just – play draft all hitters and stack your hitters and then and then uh stream your pitchings pitchers because uh you just win the hitting categories and forget about the, you know just do great there and then stream your pitching but uh, mm -hmm. anyway talking strategy but you can't do that in this league because you don't have enough spots to you don't right. you only have 60 moves correct so you, Make, you gotta it. be a little bit more yeah So, anyway, Dan, Dan ran the team into the ground. Cliff. <laughs> <laughs> that, I tried I'm telling to, you, your I team tried is going to produce. Your team is going to produce. I tried to run it into the ground, but Mike wouldn't let me. He wanted to keep all his Giants players. <laughs> I thought it would be fun just to have all Giants and just let her rip. But your team is going to do some damage, guaranteed. Not right now, but it will. Yeah, I think it will. There's people that are wanted. People are asking for players that, uh, you know. Um, 
So, uh, <laughs> he's with Dan, Dan Adam, I'm no the, longer chasing Dan in the power rankings. How are those power rankings, by the way? I don't do even they, know, to be honest with you. You know what? I'm going to take a quick peek. Of how do you, I don't even know how you do that. Not the, oh, the power rankings. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's through uh fantasy. Uh, that's through uh, fantasy sports or whatever. Um, but uh, you bet, Glenn. Just taking a look here at this. Um, fantasy baseball. Oh, I guess I'd have to sign in to see it, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, Blake Snell tonight. Um, I thought he did okay. He, like I said, the- he did okay. He's just going to have to be, you know, he did the two walks, both scored. Yep, they did. Normally and, he gets those out, but, uh, yeah, you notice he was missing that fastball arm side high. Yep. That's what I said last night. That's what you he's, said. I was I just going to bring that up. Yeah. I yep. said he's going to miss the fastball high and outside on yep. the arm side. And he also is, um, his off speed stuff is pretty good though. Yeah. Woo. He he was um had a rough first half last year. He had an ERA of four or five in the first part of the season, first couple of months, and then he really took he off. It in, yeah. yeah. So you need him and Webb to have good first halves. You can't this isn't a team that is gonna, you know, just all I guess it could if they all got in rhythm, you know. Pitching wise, right. but uh, so pitching is going to carry the team. It it, it it's it, it's going to carry the team because unless they get some bats in there, forget it. For forget it, they don't get any bats in there by May, mid May. They're going to be fighting an uphill battle, but you know other teams may fall off too. So it, it depends. I haven't even looked. I mean, they're probably, to be honest with you, after uh, 11 games, they're probably only two games off the wild card, if I if I was to guess. Let me look. Two and a half. They're two and a half off the wild card, but they are 13th in the league. <laughs> you know, you don't want to be – the problem is, like Ned said, when you start getting into the second half, you don't want to be seven teams ahead of you in the wild card race mm-hmm. because you mathematically it's hard to jump that many teams. Mm. You know. So, but again, it's it's super early. I mean, very early. The what what you what you don't re- want to have happen is what's happening right now is three teams unexpectedly ahead of you in the wild card. And that's Milwaukee, Cincinnati, and Chicago with Pittsburgh winning the leading the division. You Mm -hmm. don't want those three teams because you know, Philadelphia is going to be a, a pretty much a lock unless everything goes absolutely haywire for them. And the other thing is, is Arizona is going to be a tough team. San Diego is going to be a tough team. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. And, you know, innings wise, yeah, that's true. What uh, LD says Hicks and Wynn probably already have baked in innings limits. Yeah. Um, so, this is damn. Hold on one second. There we go. I'm trying to look something up here. Heroku brings up a point. How about this? Hicks obviously signed with the Giants to be a starter, and if he is be is their best starter, let's say he remains their best starter, and mm-hmm. he's like having an All Star season as a starter, and you get to July and he's picked for one of the All Star pitchers. Are you going to throw him in the pen? And you've got let's say you've got Harrison going well, and you've got. Snell and Webb, that's four. Snell and Webb and Harrison, those three. And Hicks is doing well, four. 
let's say Wynn is out pitching, doing great too. Do mm-hmm. you send Cobb to the pin, or do you make you know? I mean, what are you going to do? Or do you Would go to Cobb six succeed out of the pin, or or you go to six starters? Maybe you go six you know. starters. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. There hasn't been any other news on Cobb, has there? Not recently, no. They talked about his arm, but after that, they never really said anything, did have they? No. I'm still not gonna. We, I'm still waiting on Hicks because remember, the guy has not pitched over 80 innings in any one season. I'm in in in, in the MLB. It has yeah. not been done. Right. So let's 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 take it. You know, he, ain't maybe going more than, he, he isn't going more than 125 this year. Let's take it one start at a time. Let's let's enjoy what he's doing now. But I'm just saying, just look look, look ahead. Yeah. Because he has not yeah. pitched more than 80 innings. Yeah. And that'll hey get guys, you. I think I'm gonna we're gonna end it here. Um Giants uh tomorrow night. Um after ball game against game two against the uh Washington Nationals. We should be coming on, I would say, about 9.30, right? Somewhere around, yeah. But we'll just put it out for 9.30. Right on yeah. There. 9.30, if it's running early, we'll put it up. Hey, when you guys see the estimated time and we move it, like we put it for 9.15 tonight, and I saw some of the comments early on say it was 9.15. They got moved to 9.30, 9.30. We're moving it because of the – Because of the game. Game, we're estimating when the game's going to be in. And with the YouTube, just so you guys know, when we put up a time, if we don't uh, start it, it's not really YouTube, it's StreamYard. Yeah. If you don't start within 10 minutes of the show, they you have to reconnect. It just takes a little bit more work. So that's why we move the time. So, um, yeah. And tonight we moved it for some other reasons but anyway um we will be back tomorrow night 9 30 ish and uh harrison goes up against who tomorrow night oh it was uh, the um josiah, josiah gray, gray versus josiah harrison gray. yeah josiah gray's got some good stuff right yeah he's got some pretty decent stuff and Giants don't hit hit a lot of guys with decent stuff. Let's, what did he do? Let's see what he's doing right now, though. Yeah, let's check the matchup. Let's see what he's got here. See how many how many starts you think he's already had? Two. He's zero and two with a fourteen. Ooh. Two point four. He's right now. Eight eight in eight point one innings pitch, fifteen hits, nine Ks, five base on balls. Two home runs. Uh, I would say Josiah's off to a rough start. Yeah, that's not good. So Giants may get lucky on this one. I shouldn't say luck. It should be they should be able to take care of business, right? They should. Yeah, but a lot of pitchers, this is where they get right. Yeah, good point. At least it's been that way in the the past. So we'll see. Exactly, Ray. Greg is up runs, but we have no hitting. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Cliff Martinez, Gray, 14.2 ERA, six shutout innings incoming. Yeah. That happens, man. Uh, wouldn't shock me. Yeah. Wouldn't shock me because those numbers are obviously inflated. He's not going to have that type of an ERA. So to bring it down to normal, he has to have a good game. Yep. So, I mean, even if he goes, um, how many runs has he given up? I don't know. It doesn't show me. Senior says, thinking about faith, Dan, whatever decision that is made will be the right one. Yeah. Well, thanks guys. Appreciate it. Yeah. I got to get up early in the morning. Uh, I got to go pick her up at seven o'clock and hopefully she's good hanging in there and then i yeah. got then i got to get her to the to the vet yeah so um so anyway you guys have a great night um we'll be back tomorrow night about 9 30 and until then um 
Cosía. ¡Woo!